A River Runs Through It, a film based on the Pulitzer-nominated book by Norman MacLean. Narrated by Robert Redford, who also directed and produced, the movie tells the story of Norman and Paul MacLean, Craig Schaffer, Brad Pitt, sons of a Scottish Presbyterian minister growing up in turn-of-the-century western Montana. In our family, there was no clear line between religion and fly fishing, says Norman, and indeed the Reverend MacLean, played by Tom Skerritt, spends at least as much time instructing his sons in the art of fly fishing as he does instructing them in all other spiritual matters. McLean is a good fisherman, and so becomes Norman in time, but it is Paul, the younger brother, who surpasses them both and steps away from them into the coveted realm of artistry. But this is not a story about religion. It is not even a story about fly fishing, though some might argue that point. The story is about love, and, more specifically, about the kind of unconditional love which by necessity must exist between family members, if the family is to survive, when one of them eludes understanding. The young Norman, newly returned to Montana after six years at a prestigious Eastern College, finds he no longer has anything in common with his brother, except, of course, fly fishing. And not even that, at first, Norman has not touched a rod in the six years he had been away, while Paul had become a master. But it's a start, as Norman spends the summer working for the Forestry Service, waiting to hear from the universities to which he has applied for a teaching appointment, and quoting his girlfriend, Jessie, Emily Lloyd, he relearns his father's art as well as to admire his brother's artistry. He also learns to meet his brother as a person again on the shores of the majestic Blackfoot River. But it is only on a river that they can truly meet. In the real world, Paul, a newspaper reporter, is also a compulsive gambler, and well over his head, who takes part in high-stakes poker games frequented by men twice his age. Distracted by his own affairs and unsure how to help, Norman reluctantly joins his mystified, troubled parents in their mutual admiration of and concern for the reckless young man who yet embodies an intangible beauty that manifests itself so well in the Montana forests, and so inadequately in real life. This is quite a beautiful movie, literally. Filmed on location in western Montana, the scenery and cinematography is truly breathtaking. It is a film that moves like the river in its name, flowing along easily, and seeming to take up less time than it does. This is one of those movies Steve and I call life movies. There is no fierce action, though I admit being almost on the edge of my seat once or twice during a couple of the fishing scenes, really. Mostly a drama with some light comedy to break the tension now and then Brad Pitt is a better actor than he is reputed to be, his pretty looks are a drawback, I think, when it comes to getting respect for good roles, a problem he shares with Tom Cruise. Tom Skerritt's restrained performance as a loving but undemonstrative father is quite believable, and Craig Schaffer, though he has not so many lines, conveys great feeling. If you're in a more contemplative mood, A River Runs Through It is a good film to see. It may make you examine your own family relationships, or even your friendships, to a greater depth. I think most of us have known someone like Paul at one time or another.